Yeah, good to be back home in the uh, big building as well, wasn't it? Joe De Lehman's return, but it was Kevin Reiter that stole the show with an outstanding performance. Joey Talbot's game-winning goal as well, securing a 2-1 victory for this man's uh, team. And Dave, I would imagine you, you were delighted with your team tonight. I, I thought that was a great performance. You know, you know what, I was pleased. Um, I thought they, uh, they came with a great pace. Um, you know, they, they had their systems down to a T. And, it, it was just a game of patience, really, uh, which I like. I mean, I thought last year uh, a lot of our success came in the third periods. We, we figured out how to win, to, you know, not get uh, too antsy or over aggressive and, and create turnovers and mistakes. And, um, you know, we just waited. It took all the, what, 50 minutes. But yeah. Yeah, I was pleased, very pleased. I think uh, the team's got a good workout. I think our, our guys adjusted very well to the speed of their game. Um, and then, you know what, five on five, I thought. Uh, I thought we played very well against them. I mean, we killed a lot of penalties tonight. Our, our penalty kill was quite, was really good. Well, that five-minute kill was outstanding, wasn't it? Was it was outstanding. Um, guys were, were quick to change, and they were working hard, and they were working in the right areas. Um, power play for us seemed a, a little disjointed, but, um, you know, we, we only got Bali in a couple of days ago, and um, I thought he looked outstanding tonight for the short time that he's been here. Um, but we got time to, to figure it out. But overall, very, very happy. That man Talbot as well, Johnny on the spot. He, he just those are good. Those are his goals, aren't they? Uh, yeah, every time. Yeah, every time. He's just in the right place at the right time. I mean, he did so many good things tonight. He was uh, puck pursuit. He was hungry. He was hitting, doing everything. But everybody was like, how many? You know, Doug Shepard hits. Did you see tonight? Yeah, like yeah. he was. These guys just came for a good workout, good hard, hard game of hockey, and. Uh, you know, I thought Ryder looked outstanding. Yeah. He looked very calm, very sound. He played the puck tremendous uh, when the D needed him to. And like I said, overall, I'm very, very happy with it. I had a lot of sympathy for Kevin Ryder because this whole week's been about Jody Lehman coming back and Lehman's return and all those things. And he must have been sitting at home looking at websites and reading the papers thinking, crikey, I'm, I'm the number one goalie. But blimey, did he ever put on a great show tonight? Yeah. He just looked so solid, mate. He looked, he looked solid. He looked very comfortable and calm, you know, and... Uh, even in the room in between periods, he's just he's just a very calm guy and you know, he, he puts a sense of calmness at the back end and you know, he like I said, he played the puck extremely well. You know, when he needed to play it and clear the zone he challenged and, and came out to do so. Um, but I don't know, I think any one of us, any any guy would rather take that underdog yeah. role. You know what, but I put all the focus on the return of Lehman, I just I'm gonna go under the radar and go about my business and that's the way that, that he is and that we are. Just to finish off, a quick word about the two youngsters, uh, Farmer and Haywood. Farmer got a lot of ice time once Crookshank went off tonight. Both of them did a sterling job. Yeah, um, I think I think a lot of what we see right now is kind of mirroring the way that uh, that Dowdy, uh, you know, Toey that uh, is in Cardiff now, and now Morgs with us is is kind of happening here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we got some young kids here that are uh, definitely uh, still need a little bit of grooming and maturing, mm -hmm. but I want them to know exactly what we're doing. Um, and when you use them throughout the season, they'll play with the Simmons, yeah, but you'll, you'll yeah. keep them in the system? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're promising. They're they're our next generation, right? They're the young guys that are going to come in. And, and the lad farmer's got some size to him as well. He's a yeah, big kid, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and these guys are only going to get better. they got a great coach on our, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with, with John Robotham now. And I had a good talk with John last, uh, about a week ago, maybe a week and a half. And we, we kind of want to operate under the same umbrella now. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I want his guys coming out to practice with us so they know what we're doing. And... You know, I'm going to work with John as he's going to work with me. So it's a nice, it's a it's a great partnership, and uh, it's it's only going to be better for the community, better for both teams, and for for the development of the youth. Well, the Sheffield Steelers game three already now under the belt. Off to Newcastle on Sunday, then into Beirut on Wednesday to take on that little village team just down the M1. Sheffield versus Nottingham in the Charity Shield. Back here on Saturday, of course, it's when the league season starts. Coventry Blaze will be in town. 0114 256 5656. Get your tickets in advance. You save a quid as well. We'll see you next week.